All right, I had to make a little adjustment to my attack because there's an air unit here preventing uh, amphibious assaults. So therefore, uh, my unit was able to come down here and move uh, by land, but you can see they stopped there. The amphibious assault I had from over here, I have to land my troops outside of this air unit zone of influence, so he'll be landing here. Uh, this attack here will keep on going on. This air unit's gonna go to this attack here with half attack strength because he's got an extended range. But uh, that was it, yeah, my attack uh, ground units on my uh, amphibious assaults had to be canceled because I don't know if I didn't see that unit, I just forgot about it, but there is a uh, air unit there that's projecting a two hex zone of influence, negating any um, uh, uh, amphibious assault. There you go, and I adjusted the uh, amphibious assault rate. Uh, amphibious shipping points available accordingly since I didn't use them all but that is it we got an attack going on here an attack going on here and a card to remind me that my cruisers all get two to add two to their strengths so that we are up to date here now I'm trying to think what else like I said this 18 unit he could have came down and went into the battle hex oh, where is he at oh he's not even there but uh, he couldn't enter the hex because of uh, he can't use the rail movement bonus. Uh, we'll be right back. All right, on closer to look, Singapore is an island. So from now on, we got to treat that as an island that cannot be uh, moved upon by a overland attack. It has to be hit by amphibious assaults. So I was wrong. My unit could have moved all the way up here. Instead of moving in, he couldn't move into this hex because he didn't have enough movement points. He started up here, but there you go. We had to take a second look at that. Singapore is an island. We're back. All right, so anyway, we're back here at the uh, Empire of the Sun table. And we have played a little bit on this game. I'm getting on through. It's kind of like riding a bike, and we're able to... <laughs> we're actually riding it for a while. So let me get you up to date what's going on here. It must be a... Uh, uh, Japanese card. Here's the card we're playing. And, uh, oh, here, okay, well, here you go. We got a battle hex down here. Now, uh, the, uh, Rasmus, Erasmus bot, uh, didn't want to go after the main attack on, uh, Manila, because I guess it's too filled up. There was some kind of a bog down on our attack on Singapore. It was unable to be, uh, Done the way we, we weren't able to go into Singapore because they still have an air unit there on a, uh, what is that, a zone of influence? Can't do it. An amphibious assault with that zone of influence. So we had to land our troops outside of the uh, range. And they're, well, these troops here are moved by land anyway. All right. We did do an uh, amphibious assault here on this end at Cora, Coda Barhe. It was unopposed and uh, we didn't have to use a. Uh, amphibious shipping point because these old boys latched on and were unopposed going into that hex. Uh, that's what we got going on here. So with no attack there, it's coming. You can see these troops are coming, but you can't use that uh, rail bonus to go into your combat hex. Oh, and we found out that that's, a, that's an island. Singapore is an island, so yeah, we can't go down there anyway. So that kind of put a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a delay on the attack. But uh, what we are going for, what Rasmus did tell me to do, is to go after the um, uh, weakest stack. And in our list of priorities, uh, this is the weakest. Oh, what did I do with that? Oh, it's, I don't have it listed on me, but the first priority was Manila, then Singapore, and this one here with our headquarters unit. So it wants us to knock out our headquarters with one of our priorities there. It's got a list of priorities with the Rasmus. So we're having a good time at this game. <laughs> Once you get it going, now the thing of it is, our main attack right here, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an easy attack. I mean, it's, well, we'll see. We we'll have to go through the ground uh, attack phase and all that stuff and roll for uh, effectiveness. But uh, this here is what's called a smothering attack, and they really don't have many, uh, many units in the bay. So I sent this. We only got one unit going on in there. Oh, and we got a carrier. Uh, whether it's some air support so we'll see what goes on with all the units in there but these are mostly oops uh, reaction 
as a matter of fact, uh, this attack here. Well, almost all the big attacks so far, except maybe one, have been uh, reactable. <laughs> and that's just it. When you go by that EC number right here, uh, seven or less, and they detect you. So sometimes it's better to do an op card. But even then, five or less. So either way, you got a lot, a big chance of getting detected around there, and you could react. Now the U.S. can't react with much because we ain't got much going on. Uh, U.S. players on his first turn is our allied players definitely short of units. They're all over here, but uh, yeah, that's what's going on. We're just down here enjoying the game of uh, Empire of the Sun. I'll give you a drop in on some of these mechanics and stuff. But uh, other than that, yeah, we got a little chat going on here on Arcadia. All right, yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh no. A B D A. The old A B D A headquarters. <laughs> I make up my own words when I see shit, so there you go. I say Arcadia, the Arcadia unit. Oh, faux pas, we well, don't know where your unit's supposed to be. I guess he's supposed to be here. Wait, oh it's got a pin marked on there. Twenty seven twenty one. Yeah, right here. Okay. Alrighty. We'll be back. Uh Rolling, rolling with the Empire of the Sun. It's just a matter of now, just going through the moves. So as long as, you know, you don't have too much time uh, video. And like I said, I take a little bit of a while out. And we were up here last night just playing the heck out of it. And I do have a bunch of chores and stuff I got to do now. So gaming's going to have to come to a little bit of a slowdown. But uh, yeah, we're having a great time. Activated this headquarters. Going for our first headquarters here on the Rasmus list. Holding off in Manila. Man, Manila's pretty pretty beefed up. We're, we've been, uh, Erasmus has been hammering on the Philippines left and right, but can't get any ground units in there yet. We have uh, established air superiority, and uh, ground unit moves and uh, amphibious assaults will be coming. But meanwhile, we gotta try to find some way to get into Singapore. That's gotta be assaulted by uh, uh, amphibious units also. But the key is get rid of these air units as long as you got air units you can't amphibious assault all right we'll call this a video having fun empire of the sun